$150 billion moved without banks last year. Welcome to the stablecoin revolution. This is Stronghold 101, and that $150 billion, it's just the beginning. We're talking about real money moving 24-7, crossing borders in seconds, and settling instantly? Finally, banks are still debating the future. Stablecoins are already delivering it. Think about cross-border payments. They used to take three days. Now, they're instant. Weekend transactions stay open around the clock, and micropayments actually become profitable. Just look at remittances. Traditional route means you send $200 and your family receives $185 after fees. With stablecoins, they get $199.50. Businesses are absolutely noticing. They're paying global contractors in USDC, settling supplier invoices instantly, moving millions without touching a bank. The infrastructure already works and adoption keeps accelerating every month. CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, are coming. But governments move at government speed. Commercial banks watch nervously from the sidelines. Meanwhile, stable coins just keep growing. The future probably includes all three. CBDCs for government transactions, bank rails for regulated flows, and stable coins for everything else. At Stronghold, we're building bridges between legacy systems and crypto rails bringing every payment type onto one platform. The payment landscape is fragmenting and evolving. Subscribe to navigate what's next.